Congratulations on receiving your Rise Leisure Bike. Prior to opening, please inspect your box. If you do notice any damages, please take photos. This is to support any claims in the event the product was damaged from shipping. Now let's open up our box. Remove all zip ties and protective foam inside. Finally, remove the bike from the top by gripping the stem with one hand and seat tube with the other. Next, remove the wooden fork stand using a 10mm wrench. I like to hoist it onto a piece of foam so I can access it better. Now we can install the handlebars. Remove the four screws and plate pre-attached to the stem. Grab your handlebars and secure it with the plate using the same four screws. Before tightening completely though, make sure to rotate your handlebars to your liking to lock in your riding position. All of this requires a 4mm Allen key. Moving on to our forks, remove the brake pad protector from the brake caliper. It's a plastic tab that can be removed by simply pulling on it. Now we're ready to install the front tire. Grab your front wheel and raise the bike by the handlebars and fit the wheel into the fork making sure the brake disc is sitting between the brake pads. The fork will ultimately catch onto the wheel's axle. Locate your quick release axle and make sure it's in the correct orientation. The lever should be on the opposite side of the brake disc with the narrow portion of the springs facing inwards. Tighten the nut until the lever experiences adequate resistance and lock it in place. Next, let's put on our front fender. Remove the bolt and nut assembly using a 5mm Allen key for the bolt and a 10mm wrench for the rear nut. Then sandwich the front and rear fender tabs around the fork connector and thread the bolt through the hole securing the assembly with the nut at the rear. To finish off our fender assembly, we will remove the two screws at the base of the forks, one on each side using a 3mm allen key and an 8mm wrench to hold the rear nut. This is where we'll secure the fender rods. Once lined up, thread the bolt through and secure it with the nut on the other side. Now we can move on to the rear rack. Unscrew all four bolts from the rear using a 4mm Allen key. Then position the rear rack by aligning the holes with one another whilst making sure the fender arms are sitting externally from the frame. Using the same four screws, feed it through the fender arms and frame to secure it in place. Grab your rear light and a 3mm wrench to undo the pre-existing screws. Secure these screws with the rear light onto the rear rack with the washers sitting in between. Moving on to our pedals, identify the left and right as indicated on each. Failure to differentiate will cause pedals to ruin the threads in the crank arm where reinstallation will not be possible. Once that's understood, install the pedals by rotating them towards the front of the bike. In other words, the left pedal should be rotated counterclockwise and the right rotated clockwise. At the end, please tighten the pedals firmly with a wrench. If at any given moment you're struggling to thread the pedals in, Please take it out and reattempt as these pedals are made to be spun in with ease. After that, grab your seat post and slide it into the stem. Loosen the knob to adjust the height. 
Once satisfied, tighten the knob and lock your lever. Last but not least, the tires need to be pumped. You can find the recommended tire pressure on the tire sidewall or in your owner's manual. Thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy the ride.